John, a, a really convincing win. Um, perhaps slightly disappointing that we didn't um, clinch the league title at home today, but at the end of the day, it's, it's another win and another step closer. We were just focusing on ourselves, you know, from our point of view, the team, uh, backroom staff, we weren't interested in the other game. We were, we were interested in this game. We were, we were very focused on this game. We've had difficult games against Edinburgh in the past, you know, uh, no more so than the last game in Edinburgh uh, when it finished to each and we had to scramble a penalty in the last minute. So we knew... Uh, but it would be a difficult opponent. So for us to come here and, well, for us to win 4-1, very convincing. Uh, just a pity we lost that goal in the last minute. It was a bit annoying. Uh, but nonetheless, it's four. It could have been four at half time. You know, Big McIver's went through 1v1 and Calvin uh, Miller's got a great opportunity to score. I'm sure Callum had a good opportunity as well. But, you know, delighted that it was 2-0 at half time. But I thought we were scrappy. I didn't think we were flown as well. Uh, but I thought the second half we were much better and we've scored two goals in the first half two goals in the second half but I actually thought we were much better I thought we had much more control in the game it wasn't so end to end uh, Cal Calms took his goals really well all four goals you know a bit of pressure on his last penalty there with, having scored one does he put it back in the same corner does he change his corner he's changed his corner and done the goalie so you know delighted for him four goals I'll remember that for forever you know it's not very often you score four goals. He's been knocking on the door to getting three. He scored a number of times twice this season, so delight for him. But again, I thought Dylan Tate was immense in midfield. Uh, Colin, a great for Sean Mackey. Liam Henderson's calf can he flared up and he couldn't play. So Sean's not played in central defence this season. So fair play to him, stepped in, done the job. Call was good as well. Uh, you know, so I thought midfield were, were really good. Nizzy again involved in a lot going on. Uh, Brad, you know, again pulling the strings beside Dylan there. Were very good, and the wingers are always going to give us a threat, which has happened. Uh, with, with Callum getting these goals and goals made a couple of great saves. Uh, even Ethan Ross did a brilliant shot and great save with the goalkeeper again. So delighted to win 4 1. Yeah. We've done our part. We move on now to next week and Montrose. Yeah. I think that those four goals um, today puts Callum as the, the top scorer in the country. Um, it must be really pleasing for yourself to have a, a reliable player like that, especially who steps up in, in big occasions like he did today. Yeah, absolutely. No, Callum's worth his weight in gold. You know, he uh, just recently committed to the football club. We're delighted that he's going to be here for you know the next couple of seasons, uh, and they've just shown today the reason why because of. It'd be so difficult to replace. You know, how do you replace the goals? Very difficult to replace the goals. So we're delighted to have him. We're delighted that he's uh, scored his four goals today. Delighted that he's top goal scorer in Scotland. Uh, hopefully he can stay there because it'd be a great uh, tribute to him for the season that he's had uh, and for the football club. So 30 gone, still unbeaten. We move up to Montrose next week. Montrose will make it very difficult for us because they're still fighting to to get their cell, you know, cemented in the playoffs. I think all the teams are around about that today. Aloha, Cove, and uh, Montrose all got beat. So you know, it's all very tight in there. So Montrose will definitely make it difficult next week. We need to go up there, have a strong mentality. And we know it's all in our hands next week. It's up to us. There's no anything about other results, and we'll know by five o'clock exactly how uh, the other game's gone and and what we need to do. Probably take a, another big following um, up to Montrose, but just a, a word on the fans today. Obviously, they were on three sides um, yeah. of the of the ground today, and, and they made a, an awful lot of noise. Absolutely, great atmosphere, brilliant again. The ultras have made such a big difference, but everyone in the stadium, great backing and. and you know, you, could, you, you couldn't uh, mistake when, you know, Cove scored, obviously, the, the noise in here uh, just went up on team decibels or whatever, you know. So, yeah, we, we knew the, the score had went one each, and obviously when other chance came along, we knew that uh, Hamilton had got the cell back in front. So it all came down to the fans, 
from our point of view, we were focusing on our game and what was on the pitch. But uh, we certainly knew what was going on by the, by the noise the crowd made. So again, thank you to all the fans that have come along. We look forward to seeing a good number of you up at Montrose. It's in our hands. And uh, if you can help us get there, uh, we'd very much appreciate it. I'm sure they will, John. Thank you very much and congrats on another one. Thank you.